looking to share a parking spot with Michigan at the top of the Big Ten rankings. But first, they'll need to take down Maryland to claim it. The last time they beat the Terps was two years ago at Madison Square Garden. The Illini entered at, as nine and a half point favorites as a 7-0 run to start for Illinois, but it's not long before the Terps catch up. Maryland takes the lead halfway through the first with an and one from Durant Marcel. A great game for him tonight, but Kofi was hard to stop in the paint. He brings Illinois into a four point lead with a turnaround layup. He had 16 points after one. Illinois leads by two at halftime, but Maryland starting the second half nine for 13. Later on, that's Aaron Wiggins who picks up the and one to tie it at 59. 59. Big time play for them there. Desumu will make it 61 58, but Illinois goes the next four minutes without a bucket. That was Morcel with another huge bucket for the Terps to make it 64 61. Ayo Desumu here going for that last shot to tie it up. It bounces off the rim. It was a one possession game, but with eight seconds to go, they just couldn't get the job done. Maryland pulls the upset to knock off the number 12 Illini. It'll be 66-63. The final, Morcel leads the Terps with 19 points tonight. Ayo Desumu led Illinois with 23. And it was shaping up to be a big game for Kofi Coburn after a double-digit first half, but the big man only had two shots in the second. WCI 3's Andy Olson has more from the State Farm Center. Illinois was never able to separate against Maryland, their largest lead only seven. The Terrapins were able to hang around all game and upset the Illini on their home court, their first loss at the State Farm Center this season. Maryland's success revolved around the three ball. They were 40% from behind the arc. The last one was most important, a three from Hakeem Hart that gave Maryland the lead, which they never gave back. We didn't make plays to win a game. We had a lot of chances. Um, we missed free throw down the stretch. We gave rebounds, kick out three. I just think that, you know, we didn't play well enough down the stretch to win this game. Trent Frazier went down with an injury late in the first half. He was able to return but didn't register a point for the whole game. In the end, the scoring burden fell too much on the shoulders of Kofi Coburn and Ayo Desumu. Desumu at one point scoring nine straight in the second half. The two combined for 44 of the team's 63 points. You know, Marcel was did what a senior should do and 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 made every big play and and uh, they outfought us, they outtoughed us, uh, and deserved to win the game. You know, we lost. We have to learn from it, watch a lot of film, and then get ready for get ready for Nebraska. Um, that's how the Big Ten is, and um, we'll be fine. Just have to you know lock in a little bit more. And I think we'll be fine. The Illini now fall to 5-2 and two in Big Ten play, one game behind league leaders Michigan, and now head to Nebraska where they hope to get back on track. Reporting for your Illini Nation, Andy Olson, WCIA 3 Sports.